Awesome. So uh, hybrid work is here to stay. Uh, what it actually means is uh, due to unforeseen circumstances, we all uh, were to very quickly adopt to remote work, uh, remote nature, but we did find some tangible benefits of it, uh, you know, around the corner. And right now we are super comfortable working remotely uh, or from anywhere in the world, right? So uh, it's just a study that's done by Microsoft Research, which says that 70% of the employees actually want some level of flexibility when it comes to working remotely. And 80% of the organization leaders are actually supporting this entire endeavor. But what does this actually mean to the organizations? Um, on one end of the spectrum, um, there are multiple applications today that power your business processes, which means you would have a lot of application where you need to go and do particular tasks and activity. And in the remote hybrid world, uh, there are just the number of applications that are uh, coming into the periphery are just growing exponentially. This means that we have multiple portals, one portal to go apply, one portal to go claim reimbursements, so on and so forth, which means that we have so much of login password to actually maintain. And all of these are a lot of context switching for the employees who have to go from one browser tab to, to the other to actually get their work done. And the idea of or the collaborative future is actually where we get all of these applications in one place so that we are more uh, flexible as well as productive in performing all of these tasks. So that brings us into a nice segue of how Microsoft Teams can actually help us get to where we want to do. So today Teams enable us to stay connected with all of our team members, though we are all working remote. Uh, it's been close to 18 months and all of us at Microsoft have been working remotely and uh, it's only because of Teams and the way how we are able to seamlessly stay connected has been powering our entire uh, work work nature, right? And the second one is to basically collaborate seamlessly with everybody, which means they are co-opting on a file, deciding on what presentation do we do for card uh, and everything, making it easier and seamless in one go. And towards the end, it's all about bringing or extending this team's capability to bring in your own work automation or workflows and integrating that into teams and making it all the more secure and compliant to ensure that you know we do all of this right inside of teams which will reduce a lot of context switching which we just spoke about um it would not necessarily have to mean that we have to remember a lot of portal a lot of url and a lot of login credentials to actually get to that particular task that that we need to do as well. Um, now, how do we actually get get to it, right? What does it actually mean to integrate business processes into Teams? And that's essentially where we have a host of platform capabilities on Teams, which will actually empower us to do more of this. Now, um, for most of you who uh, who have already been exposed to the aspects of platform, um, in one way or the other, um, all of these are just surfaces or components inside of Teams application, which would allow us to uh, surface any of your workflows or business processes right inside of Teams. Um, imagine a particular dashboard that you would want to get in. Um, you know, there is a customer metrics or a customer DSAT that we are tracking as a team. And if we want to bring that into a dashboard, we might already have this dashboard somewhere outside in a Power BI or anywhere, but getting that as a part of Teams tab will actually make sure that there is more collaboration on top of how we are interpreting this data and in more than one ways a lot of application that we access today are very personal like for example if i want to go ahead and apply leave for myself i basically go ahead uh, go into my vacation portal to basically uh, look into and apply leave for myself and i um sorry, uh, basically go ahead and look to apply leave for myself, uh, which will uh which is just unique and personal to me. I would not necessarily have to make sure that my team is aware of it. And that's where the whole bot construct comes into picture. Now, right in this meeting, uh, when I want to quickly share a form, when I want to quickly brainstorm with my team members about what are different aspects that we can do, uh, that's essentially where we have meeting extensibility, right? Uh, while all of these are just surface of how we can render a particular information, you, your backend can literally be any 
anything uh, where we fetch this or collect this information from. So we can have uh, your low code, no code application, which can integrate seamlessly with any of these surfaces, or we could have, uh, you know, uh, your entire line of business application that you have custom coded yourself within your organization and get that into teams as well. So uh, we talk a little more about how all of these can come together in a very seamlessly collaborative fashion. So quickly moving on um, what it means uh, to actually build and create collaborative application is you can literally start from anywhere in this whole of the uh, whole stack of this uh, while most of this uh, up. So fundamentally we can start off with the whole uh, no code, low code solutions wherein we're not really spending a lot of uh, time developing a particular application, but this is just to quickly get some automation done uh, to quickly um, get some scenarios tested uh, and make it available for everybody in the organization to creating your own custom line of business application and utilizing any of these tech stacks really be it any logic that you would want to use any data backend where you want to store this information or or provide any kind of authentication um, in a way of how we maintain individual identity. But all of these once hosted on teams or once uh, you know uh, deployed into teams as an application, it just becomes device agnostic. Now what I mean by device agnostic is basically one app that can basically be rendered from any of the other uh, you know devices that you're using, be it Android, be it Apple, uh, you know, be it your Windows laptop laptop or be it your uh, whole Linux laptop or anything and everything that can basically uh, you know surface the entire application that we create on Teams. This largely removes the whole dependency or having to create maintain application in different platforms and you know going on a, a quarterly check in or a you know um, annual check in to basically take care of the updates or any performance issue that's going to come across all of the application which might be specific to some of these devices. Now, um, taking this up or breaking this down a little further, what does collaboration app mean to an organization is essentially um, how we as an organization are able to find certain information from these teams application, which increases discoverability of uh, any of the processes or scenario that I would want to do, um, gives me an ability to collaborate real time and synchronize with everybody uh, you know, in my organization to get a particular task done. Um, one similar example that we just saw was how do I co-author with somebody in my organization to get a particular documentation done on time? How do I collaborate seamlessly and in a synchronized fashion to get the whole PowerPoint presentation done? While synchronization or working um, you know, in sync with our team members are important, it's also very efficient um, and it also makes a lot of sense when we have to engage as synchronized with our team, our team members um, in a time that's convenient for all of us, right? So this also ensures that having the same application in a more collaborative fashion for everybody will ensure that there is more engagement and teamwork that can either happen in real time or async, but the information is just updated simultaneously for all of them at the same time. Now, this would also mean that we are crafting an end to end solution. So an employee is able to do all of their uh, particular tasks right inside teams for them. There is no uh, real context switching and if the same employee would want to share any other information with their team members. They would have an option to go ahead and do that by having an ability to sharing a particular information in a team's channel or sharing the same information in a group kind of a scenario. Uh, the next aspect of this is basically creating the whole investment uh, of it, which is increasing the usage of the application, which is basically your native application that's hosted in the backend. But by surfacing it into teams, uh, it's just easy to step click or a process for everybody to come and access the application to get their task or work done. And all of this means that we are having teams as one single organizing layer to get any of your tasks done. Now, now that is 
a great segue into what we're going to uh, see today as engaging customers. So we have a lot of business transformation that our customers around the world are doing today or right inside of Teams, be it them empowering their employees, providing employee productivity related application, which we saw in our last card. And today we will be focusing more on engaging customers. Now, what does it actually mean to engage with customers is what is the session all about today and how to effectively do that within teams uh, is what we'll be looking at as well. Now, while these four core pillars are essentially where we are able to get some of the horizontal or vertical scenarios, uh, we can, um, while most of these are um, you know, um, just elaborate in the way how some of our customers are imagining transforming their productivity inside of Teams. Uh, we're going to be very specifically focusing on some of the enablement process, be it, uh, you know, the whole sales cycle, reaching out to customer before a deal, scheduling and onboarding their sessions, back to back calls. How do we do that more effectively to what happens once a particular prospect becomes our customer engaging in customer support enabling them or enabling them for success, engaging and keeping track of all the work that they do um, and basically just having a lot of external collaboration that we do with our customers and internally transferring all of that information to a particular application or source where we can go ahead and gather information from this and make uh, sense out of the data all in one place. Now uh, this uh, from here, I will hand it over to Harish uh, to take care of some of the scenarios and solutions that uh, we would be talking in more depth fashion on engaging customers. 